Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nail Roy. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips. Yeah. So check it out. I'm at Seawood Park, and today I'm going to show you the best spots to fish at Seawood Park. Repeat. Today I'm showing you the best spots to fish at Seawood Park. You're welcome. <laughs> Let's go. Enjoy the vlog. All right. So to start with, before you get to the park, right, you'll see a battleship, like right, right, right there. Where the hell? Oh, there we go. Right there. Now the entrance to Seawood Park is right there. There's a little station right there, okay? So before you get into the park, this is where the first spot is gonna be located at. Now, if you plan on fishing in Seawood, you gotta pay $15, okay? $15 to fish. So you park inside the park, walk out here, then we're gonna pass the battle. You sunk my battleship. Then we're gonna come right out the gates. All right. So this spot is a little, you know, secret cove. You know, I'm dropping all the jewels, you know what I'm saying? I tell everybody where all the spots at. You know, most fishermen don't do this. They try to keep everything a secret. But you know what, I want people to enjoy fishing like I do. All right, so come out the gate, make a right, and you come to this secret beach that nobody really knows about. And as you can see, you have plenty of flat water. In the morning, you'll see multiple waders out here. You even have a boat out here right now. Um, this area is great for flounder fishing. So remember, park in there, come outside the gate, past the battleship, and to your immediate right, this area right here will have great areas for flounder. Hopefully I got a drone shot to make this look a lot cooler. We'll see. Spot number two, let's go. Come on, let's go. Okay, so spot number two. Once again, there's the entrance to Seawood Park. There's the battleship. There's the secret cove I just told you about. So instead of making a right, we're gonna make a left. So you'll pass this area, you'll see like Galveston Naval Museum, and you come to this area over here. Another secret spot. Great area to wade. Now the area that you really want to focus on is behind the battleship, right? Currently there's a couple of waders out there. Great area for flounder. As you look this way, we have some people bank fishing right here. In addition to waders and boaters here. So once again, right behind the battleship is a great area to fish for flounder and along these rocks, flounder, spot number two. All right, let's go. All right, so spot number three. Once you actually enter the park right there, you're gonna see a huge submarine. Um, you can't miss it. Once you pass the submarine in 639, walk towards the little seawall over here. And what you wanna do is come to the immediate right towards the dead end. Um, this is a very popular area in which they have um, drum, trout, big uglies, and etc. So, submarine here, right? We book a right, and you're gonna come here to the far right dead end. Like I said, very popular area that a lot of people forget about because you really don't see it. You have fishers all along here. So like I say, secret spot, people don't really know about it because you don't really see this area. So all along here, another grish spot. Yep, another one. The big submarine right there. I mean, battleship, submarine, battleship, boat. You know what I'm talking about. Come on, let's go to the next spot. Let's go, let's go. All right, so spot number four. Am I on four? I don't know y'all, I can't count. Spot number four, so check it out. This where we at so the entrance to the tower is there right submarine is there dead end spot spot number three is over there now spot number four is along this whole wall right here in which you can fish along now i know the best fishing seems to be between the first light pole towards that way, okay? 
anywhere from first light pole towards that way is a good spot. Now this water gets pretty deep, right? But you'll see a lot of trout, um, drum, and etc. on this side of the wall. So plenty of place to fish, plenty of areas of fish, but more than likely, like I said, try to stay between, okay, the, the second light, this one, and that way. Great fishing spots, base fishing spots. Jesus Christ, I can't speak. Anyway, that's spot number four. Let's go check out spot number five. All right, so let me introduce you to spot five, Cinco, and that is right here. Now, once you park over here, you enter the park, you're gonna come towards the pier. The pier is gonna be located over here, right? Now, the spot you wanna hit up is all along the rocks right here where you see all these people lined up at, right? Piers there, on the left-hand side of the pier, is where you're gonna have all these rocks at. Now, what you wanna do is have either mullet or live shrimp cast about 10 to 15 yards out in front of you, flounder. This is where all the flounder's at. When you hear people talking about the flounder run starting in November, this is where it's gonna be at. Personally, called non flounder right there on the other vlog. You've seen it, if not, you need to like and subscribe. So yeah, spot number five, all the rocks right here, left-hand side of the pier. You're welcome, let's go to the next spot. Alrighty then, spot number six is the pier, of course. Okay, here's the thing about the pier. It can get pretty crowded, okay? We got COVID going on, six feet apart, whatever. Anyway, so on the pier, here's the thing you wanna know. The majority of the fish aren't towards the end. The majority of the fish are actually gonna be between the first and second light pole. Remember that. First and second light pole, shallow are where the majority of the fish at. Shrimp, little pieces of bait, they pull up hundreds of sand trout, speckle trout, etc. flounder. You don't have to go all the way down to the end. First, second light pole is where you want to go to catch the fish on the pier. You're welcome. Let's go. All right, and lastly, spot number seven. So here's your pier right here. Now, on the right-hand side of the pier, you'll have a bunch of rocks right here. Not that much going on here, but if you go to the corner right there, and cast towards where that buoy and boat's at. Great spot for trout and etc. They have a lot of construction going on. Previously, there was some kind of building here that tore it down, so they got it all blocked out. But once they open it up, remember, buoy right there, pier here, buoy there, the last spot and where you're guaranteed to catch fish at Seawood Park. All right, I think that's it. Yeah, I think so. Come on, let's go before we get in trouble. And there you have it, y'all. Those are the seven best places to fish at Sea Wolf Park if you ever have a visit. Have you ever been before? Comment below your favorite spot that you've seen. Did I miss any spots? Let me know. Let your boy know the spots. If you made it in this video, I hope you liked it. Hit like, hit subscribe, join the family. I'm growing. Get a little clout. I ain't letting it get to my head, though. Don't talk to me. I'm famous. Peace.